Hello, my name is Salah Houdin Cook. I'm originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, but I grew up in Arizona most of my life. Having passion is essential to doing great things in this world. One must have passion, dedication, and purpose. I try to apply this concept to every area of my life. Whatever I have focused on in life, I've always given it my best effort, whether it's been acting in theater, martial arts, or nursing. I'm a big believer in faith and prayer, and one summer off, I prayed for inspiration. I pray that I would be given something that I can excel in and love inherently. This came to me in a very unexpected form, a DSLR camera. I became obsessed with photography and video projects. I obsessed learning everything I could about camera settings and composition. These principles I would learn from photography I would use in video, and that encouraged me to start filming birthdays, weddings, martial arts events, you name it, anything I was shooting. I fell in love with filmmaking and this created overlap and reunited my love for movies as we would always go as a family and watch box office movies every weekend as a family growing up. I knew innately I always wanted to do something in the industry. I just didn't know what specifically or how I would approach getting into it. And through this, I found cinematography. Fast forward a year later from my initial inspiration, I have found my niche for what I truly love to do. As Bill True once told me, shoot or shoot. And through my career in Pathways Media course, I've discovered what I truly want to do for the rest of my life. My goal is to capture the physical world and create an inherently cinematic space for various audiences. With each project shot, the goal is to bring the audience into an immersive cinematic experience. My goal is continual improvement with each project and for my cinematography to be so great that it's invisible to the audience in the sense that my audiences are immersed and, and brought into the story and it, it feels like they're, they're in the movie. With rapid innovations in the filmmaking industry, one must always be ready to learn to use new technologies to, to continually advance the craft of cinematography. One must never become complacent with a position or award. Great success is like rent that's due every single freaking day. In terms of what my films will look like, what projects shot by Salahuddin will look like, well, that depends on the project. I'll first start by talking about my inspirations. I'm inspired by cinematographers like Daniel Pearl, whom I had the opportunity to speak with and he gave me a wealth of knowledge. Roger Deakins, he shot many of the great films. Darius Kanji, Hoyta von Hoytema, and more recently with awesome success on Mandalorian and upcoming Batman, Greg Frazier. These are my favorite cinematographers by far. And I believe a common thread of them all is that I can bring into my work is that balance of technical and artistic knowledge of the craft. One must, as a great cinematographer, have both great technical knowledge and you know what you see in your head, your artistic vision. These cinematographers in terms of style are expert painters with light and camera. A lot of these cinematographers pay homage to the master painters of old like Rembrandt, Vermeer, and Caravaggio. Another aspect that will be in a film shot by Salahuddin Cook will be shooting on large formats that immerse the audience like IMAX, Panavision, and RA large format. In terms of the look of my films, I, I love low-key lighting as that reminds me of you know great paintings from Caravaggio and very soft light like paintings from Vermeer with use of practicals like Roger Deakins. All in all, it's just the beginning of my journey. And as you can see with my you know recent works, I'm doing my best every single day to continue to learn and grow as a cinematographer. I plan to learn everything I can get my hands on in the next 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 years from now, or however long, however long I'm doing this. I've always been told that my attention to detail and artistic uh, is truly a gift. And I believe that great gifts come with giving and great serving. And I plan to use that gift for audiences around the world for years to come.